So welcome back to Quiz Plays RimWorld. Uh, I have some slightly sad news if you're hearing this on YouTube. I didn't record RimWorld yesterday. I played RimWorld, I didn't record it. I, I meant to record it, I played it on stream, and I didn't record it. So if you've been following the series, then you're gonna miss about a day of, uh, you're gonna miss about a day of the play. So I apologize about that, but we're gonna hop back in. Nothing too exciting happened yesterday, so you didn't miss anything crazy, but I'm, I'm sorry I didn't record it for you. I apologize. So here we are, this is RimWorld. Hi Justin, by the way, hello. Hello Justin, hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Um, so you start off with three people. Three people land on the, on the map, like up here. And they have some basic materials like wood and steel. And you slowly build everything out. Um, this was, for instance, my, uh, my initial colony where everyone lived, but I've moved into the mountains now, so everyone lives down here. I, I dug all this out. Um, and there's, I'm doing research, I finished fabrication. This is a very important piece of research. I'm really glad I got it done. I can make uh, what's called components, and if anything that's a machine requires components, and now I can actually produce them myself. I don't have to buy them or mine them out of the, the mountains. Um, this is the research screen. It's huge. There's a lot of stuff to research. Um, you don't have to research at all. But to win the game, and it's a sandbox, there's no technical win, but to win the game you need to research these and build a spaceship and get off the planet. The goal is to get off the planet. So I just finished researching fabrication, and before that I was doing a little research on vitals monitors, so I'm gonna go back into vitals. Yeah, so I, I built all of this. This is all, all these colonists are new. Um, I've recruited them, I've captured them, imprisoned them, and converted them. But it, it's a wonderful game. You can do lots of unique things. So for instance, a monkey just went, a monkey went crazy. It's gonna try to kill me. Rex Smoke, you can kill a monkey, right? What are you doing? Calling dead military. No, this, oh, these militaries. Oh, okay, okay. So Rex Smoke was trying to haul a little robot, but I'm gonna have him shoot this monkey instead. I think killing this monkey is going to be a, a better use of his time. So, and the, the 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 pawns, the people are called pawns. They naturally work without you. Like so, while Rex Smoke is fighting, everyone down here is still doing what what they should do. They're doing their daily work. Okay, Rex killed the monkey, so it's no longer a threat. And with time, more threats will come. Instead of just a monkey going mad, enemies will raid me. Um, other threats, like the there's, there can be toxic fallout that just poisons the air. Um, lots of lots of bad things can happen. Am I out of components? I'm completely out of components. Okay, I made the fabrication bench like just in time then, or that I finished researching fabrication at least. So I'm gonna build a fabrication bench. If I can, it might take components to make. Oh, it takes 12 components, but it says I have them. Oh yeah, there's some right here. Okay, I have them. I just couldn't see them. I'm just blind. All right, so I'm gonna build this. It's a huge like machine or whatever, like a huge building, but um, it'll be great. I will be able to produce components from raw steel. I don't have anywhere to put it, sadly. I might just put it in someone's bedroom. They won't be too happy about it. I'll just put it in this bedroom that's not being used. There's a, a rotten dead spider body in there. That's not supposed to be there. That's that's my bad. That's, someone should have picked that up and put it somewhere. I think someone will pick it up and put it over here. I have this zone designated for dead spiders, dead insects. Um, I'm raising cows. My people's social belief is that uh, we love cows. They're venerated. We love cows, so we, we don't kill them. We just raise them and sell them. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not doing the best job of explaining it, but that's more or less the game. You kind of just... You want your people not to go insane. That's that's a big part of the game. You want to keep their mood up or they go insane and like try to murder each other. Uh, oh, I was in a cold snap this whole time? That's not great. Cold snaps are really bad. I didn't realize I was in one. So I'm glad it's over. Okay, so I need to make a, a little bench. 
a, uh, a shelf. And I'm gonna put it here next to my fabrication bench and I'm going to only allow steel to be on it and then my people will drag steel over here and then my craftsmen won't have to spend all their time um, running and grabbing steel. They will just uh, pull the steel from here, make a component and put it over here uh, in my, my, my station or whatever, my stockpile room. And Coyote will be my craftsman. They were my um, my researcher, but on the last stream, I should mention this as well for the YouTubers, on the last stream we got Jeffers. We got Jeffers and he's really good at, at, at researching, so he's my researcher. Coyote's no longer my researcher. They, they don't have a passion for it, so. Um, Fighting Blueprint, so the, the Empire, there's an Empire of spaceship wielding magic people they're mages that fly around in spaceships they're really powerful they want me to build a monument and i'll get some honor with them but i don't really want to build the monument it's it's too big it would take, just take too long to build and i don't have a spot for it like there's just nowhere really that's open to build a giant monument so oh this this room needs a light um no one's sleeping in here so i wasn't too worried about the light but now that this room will be used for uh production oh and i need to make this steel only Important to clear all steel. Um, now that this room will be used um, <clears throat> for production, it needs a light. We work slower in the night. In the dark, I mean. So this is it. It takes 12 steel to make one component. I'm going to do this until I have like 50 or something, like quite a lot. And as mentioned, Coyote here, this will be their main job. They will just do this all day. This is my rec room. Shield's just hanging out. They're just vibing. Shield and or Coyote and Onisan playing some cards together. Jeffers, why are you in the hospital? Are you sick? Oh, Jeffers is sick. Okay. Um, people will get sick and die. <laughs> That's a pretty pretty common issue. I've made this medicine, though. This is penicillin. Um, when you take this, you don't get sick as much. You don't get the, the plague and malaria. Um, you can still get other sicknesses, but not, the, not some of the worst ones, so... And a bunch of Neanderthals from Bitor have arrived. Eight, I couldn't say that. They've arrived. They're attacking from multiple angles. So some are over here, some are up here, and there's some more over here. <clears throat> so I'll try to kill this first pack, this first group of them, before they, they make it into my colony. But these other two will make it down. And they'll travel all the way through here, and then through this little section. And then um, I have all my gun turrets right here. I'm going to hide behind these and fight them. But for now, we're going to go over here. Cherry, undraft. Everyone else stays drafted. Shield is a, a mage. Like, they have magic powers. So I can have shield throw these people far away. There we go. And I'm going to have shield run so they don't melee him. And it looks like they're not aggroed on shield, so I'll just keep throwing people. Now that you are affiliated, you're going to try Rim Connect. Nope, not really. No, 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 no ideas for it. Um, I still want to stay no mods. Rim Connect is like where I can add my like you all, you all, your names will show up instead of people. That's I believe what it is. Um, if I'm misunderstanding that, let me know. But but I have no no plans to add it. I want the game to be just as base as possible. Also, hello, Gray. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. I don't think I've seen you yet. Don't don't shock on the ch the cow. Okay, okay. So I don't know why these these enemies didn't attack me. They kind of were weird. They like walked around and like um instead of attacking me, just kind of wiggled. I don't know what that was about. Maybe they were trying to group up with their other enemies. I don't know, or their other allies. That okay, and they're running away. So this group is running away, but um <clears throat> this group isn't, and this group isn't. They're they're separate groups. So this one is afraid of me, but the other ones aren't. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, I, I won't do that, but I, that, I misunderstood what it was. But I, I, I still won't do that. Just the base game. Well, the base game and the DLCs, but no no mods. Um, and my robot died. Or they didn't quite die, but they're knocked out. But I can, I can bring the robots back really easily, so when they die, it's no big deal. When a colonist dies, it's kind of a tragedy. Um, but these little robots, they're controlled by Coyote. She has like a link in her brain that controls them. Uh, when they die, it's it's fine. You can just bring them back. And I don't I don't want to be fighting this guy anymore. 
Um, there's no, he's running away, so there's no need to shoot him. I guess I missed Stone Shard. Yeah, it just ended like like 20 minutes ago. Just missed it, Gray. Sorry to sorry to say. Were they not attacking right away? Oh, okay, they're not attacking right away. So I'm gonna run out and meet this group um, of people before they 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 like group up as one. Um, I can just fight these like as as three instead of having to fight them with the other five up here or whatever. It'll be much easier. Yes, fear not. Stone Shard will return very soon. Very soon. But I think Gray knew that. He just, he was, he was here for Stone Shard when it was later in the day. Or they, excuse me, not he. I shouldn't assume. But um, they were here for Stone Shard when it was later in the day. I think my earlier Stone Shard hours aren't as good for them. And Onisan has a flaming sword, so they're gonna, they're gonna help out with this melee fight. Well, we killed him with my machine gun before that happened, but, uh... If Onisan, if if, they, if we didn't kill them with a machine gun, Onisan's flaming sword would have would have made short work of them. So I'm gonna undraft. Uh, whenever these people start running down, I will redraft my people so they they get in combat formation again. Um, but for now, they can go back to like eating food or doing whatever they want. Um, yeah, it looks like they were hungry. A lot of them are picking up meals to eat. And this is all stuff I got raided. Um, there's like there's all these dead bodies here. They showed up to uh, like make a siege against me and build like mortars But they I killed them before that happened. So they never they were never able to build their stuff um, So this was the food they brought with them to fight me with so I'll, I'll take it and eat it Who's mining? Oh, it's boar. They're mining down here Okay, and as mentioned this this whole mountain was not mined out. Um, oh, whoa. Whoa. I didn't realize they were coming down. That's not great. Get everyone drafted. So you robbed them of their one life's purpose? Who? Who are you talking about? Who did I rob of their life purpose? Onisan? With their melee? Pretty much. If you're talking about Onisan. Oh, jeez. And that turret's going to explode. That hissing noise means it's going to literally blow up. Oh, the mortar team. Yes, yes. I robbed them of more than their life's purpose. I robbed them of their lives. Or just get undrafted. You're so far away. Just go home. Same for quieter. Just do whatever you want. And poor Dan here. We're just going to murder him as he tries to run away. I cut out his left eye. That sucks. Yeah, I, I, I shot him in the eye. That sucks for Dan. And if I didn't kill these people, I would have um, captured them. Oh, you know what? Maybe actually, Boar, get over here and melee attack this this Dan. This Dan. But this person named Dan. Oh, never mind. My, my, my turrets killed him. Um, but I would have captured them, and you, I can suck their brains out at this machine and turn them into robots. Like this robot in here. Um, I had to make Cherry here. I had to suck part of her brain out, and she was sick. Like, she's sick for another few days. Um, so I've been waiting. I want to find um, enemies, like prisoners, to do that on, as opposed to doing having to do it on my own people. Or you can't carry this little robot? Cody, can you do something? Okay. But as mentioned before, if anyone's here that, that, you know, I convinced to stay from Stone Shard and you're confused, please ask me any questions. Just just type them, and I will do my best to explain what's going on. At least his blood will fertilize the crop. That's true. And these are my dandelions for my cows. Dandelions are good to eat. Um, maybe I should have left the hay. I, I got rid of all my, my, my grass plots out here, my, my farm plots, because I have a, a hydroponics room. Um, and I'm growing drugs, medicine, and wood in here. This is like a, tr a plant that just produces wood. Um, but I'm not growing food in here. I'm actually growing all my food in this room. Because my people, because they believe in being a tunneler, because we want to live under the mountain, um, this, I've chosen tunneler for them. They want to eat mushrooms. They want to eat mushrooms and the giant in <clears throat> excuse me, and the giant insect meat. That is their preferred meals. So normally they, they would hate the insect meat and the mushrooms. So pretend dwarves, pretty much, yes, yes. We live underground, we don't mind small spaces, um, we hate going outside. We are mountain dwarves, kind of. But we have other beliefs too. Like we believe that charity is good, we should give to people when they need it. Um, we believe in like the freedom of thought. We're, you can be like a fascist and have people only believe in your beliefs. We're more, like, we're, we're more open than that. Free love, you don't have to be married to, to love each other. You can you can sleep with whoever you want. I confirm not dwarves charity. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a, 
a big difference between the regular dwarves and me. So coyotes running really far to put the uh, components away, so it's really efficient. Like you can see how far they have to run every time. I should have built this somewhere better, but I just didn't. So, and I can't get rid of it now. I could, but I some things like for instance this pool table you can just pick up and put somewhere. Um, this if I want to if I want a new one, I just have to de de uh, deconstruct this one, and you don't get all the parts back. So it's kind of a waste. Just hitting Syker, or Scyther. Um, okay, so this is the robot I was talking about earlier that I wanted. They're in here, and when they pop out, they're going to be much bigger than these little robots, and they're going to have, like, scythes for hands. Um, and they're they're really good at killing people. So I'm, I'm very excited to have that robot eventually. We almost have the vitals monitor. Um, <clears throat> all the stuff in the game has different qualities, so this bed is excellent. This one is a masterwork, which is really good, but this one is legendary, which is incredibly good. They're very hard. You very rarely get a legendary item. Um, late game, you get way more of them, but early game, they're very rare to come by, so this is a very nice hospital. The, um, the legendary bed and the masterwork bed are great. They're great stuff. And this is shield picking up all the mushrooms. As mentioned, we, we were mushroom people. We like to eat them. And there's different meal types. And I have a bunch of milk in here. My people won't drink the milk, but I want to sell it. Someone will come by eventually and buy it off me. Um, and that just comes from the cows. And if I make really nice meals, we can make the meals out of the milk. Um, but if my people just drink it raw, they can get sick. And food poisoning is terrible. That's why the floor in my kitchen is, is white like this. This is sterile tile. It's the same tile in my, in my hospital. So the kitchen stays cleaner. Because the dirtier it gets, the more likely you are to get sick. And these are drugs. This is wake up. It's like a pill that you take and you don't go to sleep. Um, this is a smoke leaf joint. This is, as I mentioned, penicillin. Lots of stuff in the game. Lots and lots of stuff. This is ambrosia. It's a drug that's like made up. It's not real, but it's, uh, I mean, neither is wake up, but it's based off a real drug. Ambrosia is just like a, a miracle drug or whatever. It's not real at all. You very rarely can get addicted to it. Um, wake up, you can get heavily addicted to really quickly. But these gray people can't become addicted to wake up or any of the things like psychite tea, anything produced from the psychite leaf, they can't become addicted to as far as I understand. Well, they're rather, they're born with a dependency on it. So they, they, they simply always require it because they are a waster. This is their genetic screen. They're, they're, they're born addicted. Don't tell a Greek that ambrosia isn't real. Well, they don't, they don't believe in ambrosia now, right? That's like an ancient Greek might be upset with me. But a modern Greek person would just be like, yeah, of course. Or do they do they have something in, in Greece that they refer to as ambrosia? Because, of course, I know it's the nectar of the gods. Um, and this is stuff. Like, this is the trade screen. I can sell my stuff that I don't want. Um, and I can buy stuff that I do want. Like, this, this low shield pack is really good, but I'm too poor. I am too poor to buy things right now. And this is a, a, a combat trader, combat supplier, so they don't want to buy my cows. And um, sp oh, that was a spaceship I was trading with. You can only sell to the spaceships if, if you have the stuff in range of this beacon. Um, so they couldn't, for instance, even if they wanted to buy... Um, have they not heard of battle cows? Yeah, for real. I don't think they buy any animals, though, sadly. But if they wanted to buy something out here, or, like, the cows are the only exception. They'll buy animals no matter where they are. But um, that has to be in this room. But then traders will come by, same same as the raiders. They'll just show up on your map. And those traders, you don't have to have your stuff anywhere. They'll buy it no matter where it's at. We really low on wood. We have 21 wood total. Okay, the colony needs some wood. Um, that's a problem that is always go ongoing. This colony is just desperate for wood all the time. So I'm going to do a big chop order. And these trees are special. I can't chop these trees. Uh, there's a dryad queen living in them. And by like ritually taking care of the tree, I can summon these little baby dryads. And they just run around. They have different casts. These, these just carry stuff. But you can have battle dryads or um, dryads that make medicine. Lots of different stuff. 
all my robots have created all this toxic waste um, and it's in a freezer but if it unfreezes this this whole this whole tile will become uninhabitable this whole area will just become a poison mess babies with casts why are you beating up babies oh well, there are babies cherry here showed up to my colony at age three she was a baby literally um, she just called and asked if she could hang out like if she could come like stop by because she was being attacked where she lived so I let her live with me and I raised her to uh, cremate corpses all day her life wasn't wasn't the greatest here but that's fine worse things have happened but this is the schoolhouse the crematorium's in it of course because she knows she knows her job but yet I had to build a school for her and assign a teacher to her. Um, lots of cool stuff in the game. This is Shield's throne room because Shield is uh, a mage. He's, he can, he's respected by the Empire like quite heavily, so he has a nice Shield room. Coyote is respected by the Empire like a little bit, so she needs a less nice uh, throne room. So his is bougier. Hers is kind of just meh. Oh, and this my robot's done. Let's go. Howdy. Get the robot out of here. And Cherry, are you still sick? You're still sick from... No, okay. Oh, I forgot. She got stabbed in the eye. Um, in the last attack by the giant insects, one of them stabbed her in the eye. So her eye doesn't work as good anymore. Um, and so I'm going to have Cherry fill this with the stuff. You need to drag like a bunch of metal over, um, like a bunch of steel, and then Cherry will hop in it too, and she'll become sick again. I'll suck her brain, but I can make another robot. So see, this is the robot. It's a scyther. It's it's much larger and it's very dangerous. These are these are enemies normally. These these come down and kill you, um, and they the scythers will take out whole colonies. Um, if a pack of scythers show up, you can be in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> so the fact that I have one on my side is great. A solar flare is less good. So um, during a solar flare, all of your electric products turn off. Remote has always been a layered cacophony of chaos. That is exactly right. Today's been rather smooth. Like it's, we're what, like half an hour in and no one's like bleeding out yet. That's, that's a smooth day. <coughs> but if this solar flare goes on for too long, this room will heat up. I don't want to let people in here right now. And when it goes above zero Celsius, like out here, see it says it's like 17, 16, it's this right here. When I'm in here, it's negative nine. When this heats up to above zero, these are gonna start melting um, slowly, very slowly. But if, if they start, if they do eventually melt, um, I have to leave, like I have to give up all of this stuff. I have to move my people out to another tile. Um, so, need mech rechargers. Oh, that's because the mech rechargers. I can't put waste in this room because I locked it off. So I'll unlock this, actually. I want to I wanna put the waste in there. It takes a, quite a few days for, for them to start melting, so. Oh, the solar flare's already gone. I was going to say the solar flare should be gone by the time that, uh, that they would melt, but it's already gone. It was just a few hours. That's great. <laughs> Let me sip some water. Let me sip some water. I'm getting kind of rough. Okay. Cow 2 is pregnant. That's good stuff. They will continue. Oh, and my, my, my miner, Boar, here has finished mining all of the strips. So they're, they're just, they have nothing to do. So I need to make a new mining order. I know I've said this before, but I do these strips. It's just like Minecraft. Uh, you can reveal every tile by mining every third tile. So this is just the most efficient way of mining. And we got all the steel out of here already. So after they mine that steel out, they'll go over here and strip this. We will strip into here. Yep. Okay. And then they'll mine out the steel and this stuff, and we'll eventually just be done mining. Oh, Imperial Trader. Okay, let's go. So this is what I was talking about. The traders will show up. 
These Imperial traders, this is the Empire. They have the spaceships and the mages. Um, they will only trade with S.H.I.E.L.D. because S.H.I.E.L.D. is a high enough honor level. They only show up because S.H.I.E.L.D. is here. And normally they, they like, normally I would use Coyote to trade because their social skill is so high. Or maybe, like, Boar. Boar has good social. But they, they literally won't speak with anyone except S.H.I.E.L.D. So I have to trade with, with the S.H.I.E.L.D. with them. And this is a geothermal power generator. It's a huge generator. But ever since I made it, all the, the tradespeople are going out here, and it's really annoying. Oh, bull has gotten lung rot. Okay, so one of my bulls, one of my cows, has gotten sick with lung rot, which is like a bad disease. We uh, we, we might be able to take care of it, but I'm probably just going to sell him. If, if, the, if this uh, trader will buy the bull, I'm just going to sell him. Yeah, so this one, it's marked. It shows me he's the sick one. He's gone. And I'm going to sell off a couple other bulls, too. Um, and then a couple females. A couple of the regular cows. These are, these are the children. These are the younger ones, so they pay less for them. Um, I have a donkey just to use for you know, when I'm traveling on the overworld. Um, and I'll show that in a moment. Um, that's fine. I'll, say, I'll just sell those. I'll sell one, one more female cow. <clears throat> and then I'm just looking through to see if I want to buy their stuff. They're gonna pay me a thousand gold, like 1200 silver. I say gold, but it's silver, but that's the money of the game. They're gonna pay me 1200 silver for the cows, so. Even though I'm currently poor, I could maybe, you know, instead of getting this much money, I could buy something. Um, like this Eltex vest would make my mage better, I might buy it. I'm just gonna buy these advanced components. They're really good and really rare. Um, so, and someone will come grab these eventually. Someone will come grab this stuff, and then all the cows will just go out there. Yeah, see the cows? They're they're in their control now. Um, so I have less less need of my food, like these dandelions and the the natural grass. That's I'm less required to eat it, or my cows will eat less of it. So I need to grow less of it. And uh, this is my hay stockpile. It's a freezer with a bunch of hay. If I run out of food, they go in there and eat that. But they won't. They won't now. Oni-san, why aren't you fixing this? Oh, it's not in the home area. Okay, I was wondering why that was left unfixed for so long. So I'm just trying to decide what I want to get as my next research. And I think I'm going to choose an auto cannon turret. Uh, so let me make my home zone bigger. I cleared the middle of this from my home zone so we wouldn't come out here and clean it. But I need the, this to be in my home zone. So expand home area, just this line. There we go. Um, and I'll fix this. This little thing, if you have four of them connected like this, then it, all the, the spaceships will land right here. So it's just a little quality of life. Um, spaceships land and, and leave semi-frequently for quests. So. I mean, yeah, so the red cube is there now because it's alive, it works or whatever. Oh, these corpses can't be interacted with? That's not good. They're just sitting here rotting. Cherry, what are you doing? Cleaning? Get on cremation duty, Cherry. Cre cremate those corpses. 13 components. Cowdy, why aren't you making components then? Oh, because they're just sleeping? That's fine. So I will work drive on... I'll work drive on quieter. Um, Coyote's the leader of my colony, or of my social beliefs. Not the colony, but just the beliefs within my colony. Um, so as such, they can they can command someone to work extra hard for a few days. Um, Shield is my counselor, so if someone's really sad, Shield can, can can raise their mood, or if someone believes in a different belief, Shield can convert them. I um, mean, Shield's a mage, so they have this. This is just their magic power. Um, Onisan is my handyman, so she she works. She just does like construction better. Um, I'm not really doing any construction projects right now, though. Ooh, an eclipse. So all my solar generators, these are all solar-powered. Um, they won't provide any power while the eclipse is going. So hopefully my two hopefully my two geothermal vents will keep us going. Um, I didn't have this one built until recently, so it's a lot of excess power. It, it's, it's a backup layer of power. But as I research the gun turrets and other things, I'll use more and more power. It will eventually not be excess. It will be used. Um, I frequently use use th uh, water power, like uh, hydro hydroelectric uh, like hydroelectric power, but the river is too far away. 
I wouldn't be able to protect all my, my water mills. And I could kill these elephants if I wanted. I've killed them before. I probably have some element elephant meat in here still. Sheep meat. Yeah, I have a bunch of elephant meat in here. Um, so I just don't need to go kill them. I'm, I'm very stockpiled on food. I have no need for more food right now. Um, over a thousand fungus, over a thousand insect meat, and then a bunch of meals as well. Just a huge number of meals, so. Oh, and actually, this is these meals shouldn't be right here. I need I need to have Cherry um, haul them. Oh, there's no spot? Oh, the, the, this is just too full. Okay, I need a new freezer. <clears throat> it's time. I've been I've been in need of a new freezer for a while, and I've been putting it off, but I need to I need to do it. So I will mine. I'll just go through here. Cause the freezer needs to be able to vent out into a hallway that vents out into like open air. So like here's kind of fine. Um, I'll make this door stay open. Um, where the freezer will just, it'll just, uh, the, the heat will, like I'm shoving the heat out here into this hallway. But if this wasn't a hallway and instead like a tiny room, the heat would just feed back in and I couldn't keep this freezer frozen. So I need to make a new freezer, and I need to make it uh, in a reasonable spot so that it doesn't, uh, so it actually freezes stuff. And I'm leaving it these two tiles away from the wall because two tiles is better than one for for heat conduction. It'll stay cold better. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.